Monday and I just posted a reel on my Instagram. Go follow me if you haven't, but it gave me some motivation for the week to train, just to have fun. It got me in good spirits, which I really needed lately. Can we skip to the good part? That doesn't get you excited just to throw good tunes on and go freaking work out. I don't know what will. <laughs> Cause I got really, really hyped last night and I freaking pumped right now when I was posting it. So go give me a follow Rodrigo Garcia Training. Post daily things I'm doing there, tips. I always ask like little question polls there and I answer questions, I go live on there. So go give me a follow and ask any questions you have related to training and nutrition or random things. Anyways, it's Monday. I'm gonna go on a run because it's supposed to be 75 today and it's November 15th. So I'm gonna take advantage of that and then I'm gonna be working out in the sun. I'm gonna bring you guys along. Let's go get after it. Alright guys, so that was a quick little physique update. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, the last week my diet and training has been completely off. One, just because I was crazy busy with work. I was just eating all over the place, super under eating with some days, trying to catch up the next day and overeat a little bit to make up. Just wasn't good, man. Just a ton of stuff going on with work. Nerding out hardcore last week as well because I started the tech YouTube channel, so I was like planning videos for that. Go check it out, Tech Lift. Go check it out. I have a couple videos on there if you're into tech, if you're into things like that. I do little unboxings and reviews there. And also, a new freaking video game came out, Battlefield 2042. I know I, I said hardcore nerding out, which I did. Basically, I was nerding out hardcore because Battlefield 3 was remastered onto that game and I was just looking forward to it and I literally bought an Xbox to review it for the tech channel and then I heard that game was coming out so I waited a week and I'm hooked and just these next gen consoles are insane. Anyways, I know it's something I don't do or talk about or preach about but I liked it because at the end of the day, whenever I'm like still thinking about work, I feel like I can't ever shut down and I can't ever stop and I'm always kind of like stressed out so this is like a cool thing where I can just jump on for maybe 20 to 30 minutes minutes or a quick game of Madden or a quick game of Call of Duty or Battlefield now which is super cool and kind of just like zone out and then wind down so it's been helping me and it's also like a little treat like at the end of the day if I kicked ass just jump on just kind of relax and wind down so that's been helping game plan moving forward this week back to normal routine back to normal eating and training schedule and uh, now that everything's kind of settled and I'm back like to my normal like activities and stuff I can do that in terms of my eating nutrition making videos for this channel making videos for my tech channel clients and then wind down and get a few kills on the Xbox, so that's gonna be cool. Anyways, let's go on this run. So one thing I've been doing maybe like a month or two now is foam rolling before working out. Just foam rolling my back, my upper back, my traps, my lats, my like back of my shoulders, my lower back, and then just really stretching it out. And then sometimes my glutes and my quads if I'm sore and hamstrings. I've noticed that it just feels really good. It helps me just loosen up and just feel like I'm good to go. It helps me almost like feel warmed up. 
in a way, but um, the rolling out of the lats and just popping all my back and then rolling my lats out feels really good and it helps me just get that good lat mobility. And don't get me wrong, rolling out your lats and just laying like this with your lats on the foam roller hurts really bad, or at least it used to for me. It still does a little bit, but it feels amazing once you're done and I feel like I'm just opened up and just a whole lot looser. And lat mobility is great for front rack positions, front squats, also anything overhead. So I've noticed this just helps me warm up and loosen everything since you guys know I need to work on my overhead stuff and I like split jerks squats uh, overhead squats snatches things like that so this just helps me get loose primed and ready for that and uh, this has kind of been a game changer for me honestly so today we have a ton of overhead stuff and lucky for me I'm so sore especially in my lats and my shoulders oh my gosh this hurts really bad but it feels amazing so Warming up and stretching is gonna be crucial today. I'm gonna take my time nice and slow and get after it. <laughs> Starting off with some muscle snatches, building up to a heavy, heavy set of four, four sets of four. How's it go? think I was gonna get that but after that first one that I failed I was like I can get it if I just pop hard enough it's muscle snatch with that last set this set i'm gonna try to focus more on just like big fast pop and driving my head through so you guys can see this is hard and i'm way awkward but i need to get used to it and hopefully loading it up will feel good but big pop big drive let's go Little better, not the best, but hey, at least there's progress, right? Also, I know the crap out of my chain coming down. Almost knocked myself out. Hey, 4% now, 170. One up, I don't know. Last set, best set. even count as a rep that was absolutely horrible terrible horrendous cheese louise 
didn't even count as a rep. I couldn't even fully lock it out. I just, it's overhead mobility. Just don't have it. It's not the best. And uh, I need to just get under, like, big pop and just, and for some reason, I feel like I can't. I don't know. Whatever though, it's part of part of working out, part of lifting. It was a good session up until then, but still, still a good session. You can't just let one rep, one thing, completely mess up your entire session, kind of get you down. I'll take the 155 was feeling good, and I felt like I was driving my head through. But as the weight gets heavier, that's whenever your form gets exposed. So just gotta keep working on it. I'm gonna start doing my split jerk mobility thing that I was doing at the the CrossFit gym, just like 30 reps of I think it's like five, five, and five of five strict press, five push jerks, five strict press, five push press, five push jerk, and five split jerks. So yeah, eh, it's a work in progress. I feel like we meet here very often post-workout meal. We got the oats, the PB Fit, reduced sugar craze and sugar-free syrup, and protein shake. And I wanted to really quickly touch up on the protein shake I'm having. You guys saw there, it's ISO. I go with ISO because I've noticed that it doesn't hurt my stomach as much as whey protein does. So whey protein, I would always have it and then my stomach would be bloated and I'd just be like not feeling good. It was the whey protein doing that. ISO is also lower in fat, lower in carbs. It's literally just protein. So if like you're on a cutting diet and you don't wanna use some of your fat, you don't wanna use carbs and you just want lower calories in general, go ISO and it's a lot more just pure whey isolate basically and it doesn't hurt your stomach as much for me it doesn't hurt at all completely so it just depends you got to try it out you got to risk it for the biscuit i'm saying this because i had someone reach out asking me what i re would recommend for like a lactose free protein and honestly iso has helped me so i recommended that to them but also it led me down a rabbit hole of just research you can go vegan protein which i also have and i take sometimes as well that doesn't upset my stomach at all but if you're allergic to things in there such as the peas the pumpkin whatever it may be you can also also go for egg white protein. Yes, they have egg white protein powder out there. One of Nutrition does have egg white protein powder. So if you're lactose sensitive and you can't, you don't really like vegan or you're allergic to stuff in vegan proteins, go for the egg white protein. Also, hydrolyzed or hydro whey is also another very, very fine version of whey protein. And also again, it's not completely lactose free, but it might not hurt your stomach at all. So give those a go guys. If you want to pick up anything from One Up Nutrition, I'm still an affiliate with them. So use code SHOTSG and uh, that'll save you 10% or if not go to the link in the bio and uh, that'll automatically add it to you but yeah quick little info and tips on you know getting your protein in because I know some people stay away from protein shakes because it hurts their stomach don't shy away from it always have your protein and carbs right after you work out all right guys your boy got freshened up got a new haircut definitely not a new haircut but got a haircut your boy definitely needed it I feel like a new man um, cooking up a meal right now got 300 Grams of egg whites, some turkey bacon going on there. Gonna get my high fiber tortillas that you guys have seen plenty of. And just make like some egg white and turkey bacon tacos. These are my favorite ones. Honestly, there's a different brand, La Banderita. You can get them at Walmart, but they haven't had them in forever, so don't have those right now. But I'm gonna be making these like little tacos and I wanna get you guys on my favorite type of soup. I'm not a huge soup guy, but working in the restaurant biz after I quit my corporate job. I got onto soup, soup game. And this is roasted red pepper Gouda. And it's absolutely delicious. Look at that. It reminds me of the old school volcano style pizzas you used to get in elementary school. Those little pizzas on Thursdays for uh, pizza day. This is what that soup tastes like and reminds me of, and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna drizzle some on top of my egg white tacos. It should be pretty bomb.
All right guys, so just wanted to elaborate why I have those tortillas and tacos. Mainly because it gives me a good source of fiber. It's a lot of fiber for those two tortillas. So I definitely feel like I need more fiber in my diet and that just helps me hit it super easy way. And it also just pairs well with, you know, the random little things. You can make anything into a taco. You can have Mexican style, Mediterranean style, even Italian style tacos if that's even a thing. Also, I'm only having a tiny bit of that soup just drizzled on there. I'm not having like a whole thing. Maybe I'll have a quarter of that. Yeah, just to switch it up. But just I want to give you context on those meals and why I kind of did that. I know I, I don't have that like every single day. I have little things like that maybe once every couple months. But yeah, I just want to give you some context on that. I didn't track the soup. Obviously, I can't. I just quick little drizzle, quick little drizzle of the Parmesan cheese. But I will compensate by maybe having a little bit less fat, maybe like five to 10 grams just to, you know, be on the safe side. I'm not too worried about it, to be honest. But yeah, so far doing good on the macros, doing good on diet training. So yeah, going to knock out a little bit of editing do some work, and then, yeah, I'll catch you guys later for maybe another meal. guys last and final meal of the day we got 300 grams of rice jasmine rice 10 ounces of lean ground beef i believe this is 85 15 or maybe 90 90 10 i believe then we got that little bit of that rest roasted red pepper gouda soup a little bit of a red pepper flakes and parmesan cheese to top it off and make it exquisite oh it's almost like a spaghetti type dish it tastes absolutely amazing washing it down with some zevia ginger ale is personally my favorite flavor i don't let me get the canada dry zero sugar zero calorie ones but they've been out recently and uh, i like to switch it up from time to time now keep in mind i only drink these maybe like once a week maybe once and then i'll like won't get anything for like maybe a week or two or three uh but yeah that's kind of how i do it this is the last meal this is what's gonna finish me off for my macros i'm digging because i'm starving guys it's the next day now hope you guys enjoyed that full day of eating full workout and also those tips coming from me guys it feels so good to be back in my routine back in my normal flow especially today second day yesterday i knew at the end of the day that i had a great day because i followed my routine because i was back on my normal schedule and that's what i want to end the video with guys if you guys are ever feeling some type of way feeling down and about overthinking things jump back into your routine get structure in place as soon as possible guys it's going to make the biggest difference you're going to start kicking ass you're going to start feeling good about yourself again and just know that you're on the right track guys so anyways, that's going to go ahead and do it for today's video. As always, Breakfast Club CTG, we have to speed.